everyone, welcome back to the HashRaptor YouTube channel. Hope you're doing great today. This is part two to our 12 GPU Zotac rig build. We have a bit to do. We've got to get our fans put in. We've got to get our cable management done. We've got to get this put into the mining cave shed. And I've got to cover the ROI, what the outlook looks like for this rig. So let's get started, guys. Here we go. Like I said, my 13 card build is on an ASRock H110. So this ASUS B250 Mining Expert's doing pretty well on 12 here. And then I've got some extra slots. As soon as I get some GPUs freed up, I'll, uh, I'll just keep adding and see how far I can actually push this thing. All right, I just wanted to show you real quick what the back side of the rig looked like after I did some cable management back here. I brought in some zip ties and cleaned it up a bit. But not only is it making room for just getting inside the rig when you need to, I want this grill to be faced forward because the back side of this rig is gonna be on the intake side, the vent intake side on the shed. And I want to be able to pull fresh air from outside and blow it across the cards. And that's kind of how this rig frame is set up here. So it'll end up looking like this right here. I have four going across this top row of six GPUs and then I'll have another four going across the bottom six and we'll do some temperature checks and see how well that works and I'm just looking at this with eight fans I'll be able to get all of them pretty easily down here onto the parallel miner ZSX breakout board it's got this fan hub right here on the revision one board so I should be able to take all of these cables nice and easily down into that fan hub. All right, so it is move time. We've got this up and running here in the studio and we're gonna check heat levels before we take this out and we're gonna check the sound levels as well, which I'm often asked about on these mining rigs. And I thought I'd show you guys the front, back and those sorts of things since I've got all these fans mounted back there. So here is a decibel reading about 56 decibels when I'm not talking right up on the frame. And if I back up a bit, so we're roughly maybe four feet away, 50 decibels. Let's go around to the back. All right, here we are at the back side and I'm gonna put this right up into the fans. So it looks like we're at about 60 decibels when I'm not talking. Not bad, I'll measure it also once we get it out into the mining shed. But I wanna take a look at temperatures on how these cards are doing here in the studio. They've been up and mining for, I don't know, an hour or two. So we'll take a look at that. That should be pretty representative of how hot they would get in a studio. It's about 70 degrees in here right now. So the rig has been up for about two hours now. Okay, one last look in Hive before we move this rig out to the mining shed. We are at 380.3 mega hash, but what I really wanted to focus on is the temperatures from the studio here. So it looks like everything, all these cards are right at or under 50 degrees Celsius. Actually looking pretty good. I almost forgot I should also mention that I have auto fan turned on, and you can see the fans are running somewhere between 40 and 50%. So I'm going to look at this for a minute and figure out the best option for now. It may be temporary. Let me figure this out and I'll be back. All right, Raptors, the rig is in. So you can see right here, we've got it on this rack right here with our 1660 TIs. This is our 13 card build, hanging card build right here. So we've got 13 of the 1660 TIs plus 12. So we got 25 in this rack over here and we still have some extra space if we wanted to reconfigure here. So looking good, liking that. And I moved the AMD rig over here, took the little mini PNY rig and moved it up top. So that's how we're gonna leave everything for now. And I wanted to just show you real quick. So about 66, 67 decibels, standing a few feet away from all of the rigs and with the primary exhaust running not too bad all right here you go so you can see all the cards are up and mining and the temperatures right across the top there everything is in the 50s about 50 to 51 degrees celsius 
So we only gained a couple degrees by putting it out here in the mining shed. And I'll show you the temperature in here right now. And it's mid-afternoon. We're at about 80 degrees Fahrenheit here in the shed. Looking really good, man. I'm so excited about this. That puts me somewhere around 61 GPUs. One thing I almost forgot to mention, you can see, as I showed you in the studio, we had the fans along the back side of the rig here pulling air from behind and pushing out the front. And the reason for that was these intake vents that are right here. So let's do this. I'm going to jump over to a desktop. We're going to run through the ROI real quick. All right, so we are back inside on the desktop, and I just want to show you a few things and walk through the ROI for this rig. And just to get started, before we pull all of our numbers, I wanted you to see where we are at the moment. We have uh, 4,670 accepted shares, so that puts us at 99.98%. And that's really, really efficient, really stable. And the rig's been up for about three days. I did reboot the miner. And all of the GPUs, we're running at about 380.5 mega hash at the moment. And you can see the overclocks down here. And poolside, we're screaming along here at 433.33 mega hash. And if I drop that into what to mine and do a calculation, you can see right now our gross profit is $38.19 per day or $35.34 after electric, which gives us about 0.023 Ethereum in a 24 hour period. So we're gonna take these numbers and this can fluctuate if you're new to mining, just know that this can fluctuate daily. It does fluctuate daily. Uh, so we're gonna take these numbers and we're gonna drop them into our spreadsheet over here. And what I've done is I put together the base cost for the system. Now, some of this stuff I actually purchased before the crazy run up. So that's why you're going to see some of the lower prices here on the motherboard, the processor, the RAM. I purchased quite a bit of product prior to all of the price acceleration on the parts. And if you do decide to get this AAA wave frame, again, I don't get anything for this, but be sure to use coupon code AAA HR20. And that will get you $20 off. I think it's $179 on their website. And if it's out of inventory, just keep checking back. So our total base system is $632. And then our GPU costs for 12 of them, as I told you, we were paying on average $345 per GPU. The smaller GPU, we were at $340. The larger GPU with the larger cooling system, we were at about $350. So we're at an average of $345 per GPU. And then, wow, look at this. Our total cost of 12 GPUs, $4,140, bringing our total rig cost to $4,772. Man, that is a lot, and that sounds like a lot. So let's run through the numbers here on ROI. Now, you may notice for some of you that saw part one, I did change the name. Uh, this was a fan vote. Many of you dropped in a bunch of good names in the comments on the first description. There was BB-8, there was Dark Trooper, and some others I really liked. And I thought Dark Trooper, because of the color scheme, made the most sense. I looked up some of the images on the internet. So this is going to be Dark Trooper moving forward to fit into the Star Wars theme. So we've got our rig cost here. And resale value for the cards. This is where, for those of you that haven't seen me do this before, I make some projections here. Resale values on the cards. I think that if we take a big hit, the first, let's call it the first big hit, my guess, this is anyone's guess, will probably be that I could resell these cards for about $200. Now, if I sold them today, I could actually get more than I paid for them, probably quite a bit more, 500 or more, maybe even 600. But I'm trying to be conservative here. And then if we took a second really big hit, let's say three, six months from now, I think these things could resell for as low as $100 per GPU. But right now, that's not the case. This is just a, a conservative number here. And then best view coin price multiplier. So basically, again, if you haven't seen this before, if I change this number to a two, I'm estimating that the value of the coin is going to double. And then right here, I can see what a triple would look like and what selling a 4x would look like. So this just lets me play with some numbers right here. And by the way, I added some functionality to the spreadsheet. So the value of the coin today gets pulled automatically from the internet. It gets pulled from coin market cap and is dropped in here in this field. So we're at 1604. We actually took a hit on the Ethereum price here over the past couple of days. And to date, I have mined 0.161 Ethereum on this rig. And that's about $258.28. 
and that has us having the rig paid off at about 5%. We've paid off about 5% of the rig so far. Now, I'm not going to play with any of these other numbers as I walk through this the first time. And as we saw, our gross earnings per day was $38.19. Our net, after we take out electric, would be $35.34. And I am holding my Ethereum, so if the price goes up, I'm getting the benefit of having held this electric right here. Now, our best view gross per day is $38.19. Best view profit per day, $35.34. This number would change based on some variables here. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Our days to base ROI is 135 days to pay off this rig. So what is that? Just over four months. And our days to ROI best view is 67 days, so just over two months. Now, why is this number lower? It's because of this. We're assuming a resale value of at least $200 within the next maybe three to six months. That's how we hit this number right here. So for me to break even and sell off all of my hardware, I've got to hit these earnings within 67 days. And if we jump over here, our days remaining to 100% payoff. So to pay off everything and not resell the cards is 128 days. And that's the reason this is different than this right here. It's because we've already earned some crypto. We've 5% paid off the rig. And our days to best view is 60 days. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm, I'm comfortable in that time frame. Anything beyond 90 days is where I start to speculate and wonder what's going to happen. I'm pretty comfortable within the next uh, 60 to 90 days, which is why I actually built the rig. Uh, and, and honestly, not financial advice, not mining advice, but I'm comfortable, I would say, for maybe the next six months with the mining scene the way it is today. Yeah, so that's it, guys. I think that covers everything. You can see where we're at, what we've got to get to. I will update you all as we go, and I'll let you know when we get this thing paid off. Hopefully, it'll be sooner rather than later, and then we'll just be mining at a complete profit. So thanks so much for watching, Raptors. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.